Hey YouTube, I'm back for this updated eyebrow tutorial for beginners. So first you'll need a um, angled brush and a some type of, you know, like eyebrow powder shadow. Um, I have a Forever 21 one, <laughs> Forever 21 one, and um, I've been using this for two years now and I really love it. So first I'm going to be filling in the sparse parts of my eyebrows. My eyebrows ha I've actually been letting grow a lot. Like I usually tweeze them every two weeks. Like I literally let them grow out a lot. And I found out that hey Queenie doesn't have thin eyebrows. So yeah I let them grow out. You don't have to do that because I know people that like shave off their eyebrows and just redraw them in. If you want to do that fine. But I like to wake up and still have some eyebrows on my face. So yeah, and it gives for a better foundation than working with nothing, especially if you're a beginner, which this video was targeted for beginners. So if you literally start off with nothing, like you have no foundational where to angle at, you don't know how to do that stuff yet, you're not a professional yet, so yeah. So I just advise that your eyebrows grow out if you like thicker eyebrows, if you like thin eyebrows, then I mean I guess tweeze them up, whatever. But yeah, you do that, just keep filling in where it's sparse at, um, a few parts of where my arch begins. My eyebrows have different types of arch, like one is higher than the other, so you will notice that as like the video continues. But yeah, I'm gonna just keep doing that until the eyebrows are like building enough. Okay, so now I use a separate angle brush. I learned this actually at a trip to Sephora, getting um, that makeover or whatever that like if you spend over $50 so yeah using an angle brush because I usually use a concealer brush but nope I was wrong an angle brush will actually make a more um, precise like clean up look if that makes sense but I use the LA color I mean LA girls concealer in the color sweet honey I think or something like that you know I'll just like list it in the description box below but yeah that and I just line right under, like literally right under, leaving no space right under my eyebrow. And doing on top is optional. Like if you want a more natural look, then you don't have to do on top. But I like to do on top to make it more clean. Like I like that clean look. Like I just walked straight out of the salon look. But don't use a concealer that's way, 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 way too bright. Because then you'll have Instagram eyebrows, which aren't good. But you look like you have the Hollister, you know, symbol on your face. You don't want that. So yeah, from this also I learned at the Sephora um, makeover, drag the color down. Like I usually just go straight to picking up my beauty blender and just wiping it off. If you hear people talking in the background, that's my family, which I can't control. But yeah, so just drag the concealer down. Um, when the lady was doing it, she really did such an awesome job. I, I, I got it done at 42nd Street by a woman named Jennifer. She did an amazing job. But yeah, she did that. She told me to drag it up. As you can see at this part, I had like a lot of, like I put concealer on both sides of the angle brush because I never like remember what side goes on. Like, if, do that make sense? But yeah, what side goes on first. So, obviously as you can tell, I had a lot left over on the, um, on the makeup brush. So that's why there was a lot deposited just now. But yeah, then I made with weird face expressions just now <laughs> but yeah and then now I spray I usually use water but I didn't have water so for some weird reason I used I recorded this like two weeks ago but I used um, my setting spray from um, NYX and I used my beauty blender well, it was a beauty blender dupe it was like 50 cent from Amazon but it took my whole life to actually get home to my house like literally my whole life ordered it in January didn't come till May my whole life I don't understand but yeah it's a beauty blend dope it works just as well though it works really good the only thing is that it doesn't like expand like uh, like I heard the beauty blender does and I honestly don't feel like spending $20 or no on something I don't use that much but yeah um right now yeah like after this it's just trying to get it to blend out right and that's honestly as a beginner that'd be your problem because i'm like moderate i've been doing makeup since the eighth grade and i am now a senior in high school Woohoo, senior year so like the the hardest part is blending like 
and as you can see even here like I'm not the perfect blender the woman was giving me tips she was a perfect lady I love her but yeah just trying to get the blending right making sure everything blends in because what I hate with putting concealer around my eyebrows is taking a photo and like with flash and you see all the concealer like really yeah so that's it the rest of this is just gonna be me blending and blending so as I blend let me just talk I know I've been gone for a long time you guys and I promise I am back ready to go I'll be uploading videos every Wednesday and Friday no Wednesday and Saturday I got a new camera okay this video is about to end I love you guys I hope you love this look enjoy